Bonjour BTECs and BEs, this is Nishan from Cloud Campus presenting you your today's dose of engineering loading wherein we're gonna explain you the science and engineering behind everyday things you see and satisfy your wise and house. Today's question is going to be a very common question that pops out of your head. How do these little birds not get electrocuted chilling on those big power lines? What sorcery is that? Let's start with understanding what is electrical current. Electrical current is nothing but a flow of electrons inside an electrical conductor or a space. These electrons travel from the power station to your house via these power lines and this flow of electrons happens in a closed loop and closed loop is necessary in order for the electricity to flow. Another important thing to remember is that these electrons travel from high electrical potential to a lower electrical one. Imagine pouring water down a slope. It will flow in any direction that becomes available. This is similar to how electrons flow. They flow in any direction that becomes available. They flow from one electrical potential to another one. But when a bird sits on a wire, both its feet are on the same wire. Thus, electrons have no reason to flow through the bird's body. No moving electron means no moving current and that means the bird is safe. Unless it touches another wire. When it touches another wire, it opens the electrons a new path for it to flow. And also the poles that are connected to the ground which has lower electrical potential. Thus, the electric current would flow from higher electrical potential to a lower one through the bird's body. So this is how these beautiful flying creatures escape the death trap that we humans have planted. So that's it for today's engineering loading by Cloud Campus. Thanks for watching our video. If you like the content, please do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe us for more videos. So until next time, this is Nishan signing off. Adios amigos.